Okay, let's understand uh, one of the most fundamental principles of the universe and it's not taught anywhere in school and it's not taught in college and it's not taught by your parents. Let's understand something. When we talk about polarity, you will not find in any dictionary the accurate or true denotation of the term polarity. Now this of course is implicit of the word duality. There are a lot of dualists in the universe. They think uh, that there is a first cause or in the Latin uh, prima causa there is no first cause. There is no original sin. But let's not get into metaphysics, and certainly let's not get into religion, which is secularized metaphysics. What about magnetism? What about light and illumination, principle and attribute? What about polarity? What do you think you understand about the term poles or polarity? Let's just take for an example, there's a bird up in the tree, Let's take, for example, a magnet. Now, I have a really powerful magnet taped to the opposite side of magnetic viewing film here. And let's take a look at this line of inertia. Okay, do you see that? You see that white stripe going right down the dead midsection of this magnet. Let me bend it so that hopefully there's no reflection so that you can see it correctly. There might be a reflection from the sun. Okay, we understand that. That's the plane of inertia. Okay, what's the point? A magnet does not have poles. It has the inverse of counter space. If you take a magnet and chop it up a million trillion times, if you're able to, since it's ceramic, that's not really very possible, but each little slice will have its own quote-unquote north pole and south pole. So. If at the center of every magnet we have a plane of inertia with a, quote, north pole and a south pole, which it actually does not have. You see, we don't understand the actual metaphysics and mechanics of Mother Nature. Us stupid human beings and men, we have a different line. You know what a line is, okay? There's a line. Then Mother Nature. Mother Nature draws her line, for lack of a better term, completely different than us stupid human beings do. And let's take a look at Mother Nature's line versus uh, humans, humanity's line. You see this? On the top we have the line of man. We start at a point and we make a line. That is not how Mother Nature works. At the bottom here we have Mother Nature. Do you see the difference between the top and between the bottom? Here we have polarity. Mother Nature's point and point is still an incorrect term because point still would have a Cartesian value, a Cartesian coordinate. It is not truly a point, but human lexicon and language being what it will, let's just say point. Okay? Human beings have language to work with, but we have to transcend language. Existentia. Empirical knowledge is hugely different from noesis, true wisdom or comprehension. Man's line is not Mother Nature's line. Okay, now let's take a look at the magnet here. Most people don't even know this. You're not even taught this stuff in college. You can certainly find plenty of examples of this fact. But how important is that? Well, a magnet has a North Pole and a South Pole, right? It does not have a North Pole and a South Pole. So the middle of that magnet would be what? At the center of all things with magnitude, there is not that force or inertia modality. At the quote-unquote center of gravity, there is zero gravity. If you're actually able to take two magnets and have them slap together with a Gauss meter uh, probe between the two, where the two become one, two of the most powerful magnets that money could buy, there would be zero Gaussian flux. At the center of gravity, there's no gravity. At the center of magnetism, there is no magnetism. Now let's take a look at the top example here. We'll take the same magnet and we'll cut it three times. Let's say a thousand times. Let's say a million times. If we could actually slice it like a hunk of salami. Each little section will have its own quote-unquote North Pole and South Pole, but it does not have polarity. And each little section will have, just like the example I showed you underneath the ferro film, will have a plane of inertia. You see, there is not a plane of inertia located at. This is incommensurability. This is why humans have de-evolved. There are ancient Greek terms that I read from Plotinus, Proclus, Numenius, 
the Maecius, Simplicius, that do not exist in the Engli English language or the French language or the German language, any of the classical languages whatsoever, many of which don't even exist in Latin. Incommensurability, the Aoristos Dias, Tolma, Ananke, the Logos. These terms have no English, German, French, Spanish equivalent. None. Absolutely none. There is no midsection to any magnet. It is not located there. If we could take this magnet and slice it a million billion times, and each little slice has its own plane, and this is a hardcore, absolute, undeniable fact. Okay, there is no denying this fact. Each little section will have its own plane of inertia. Okay. What does that tell you? That tells you that there is no north pole or south pole or plane of inertia or midsection, whatever you want to call it. It's called the block wall, but descriptions are not explanations. A, children can, a child can describe something to you and say, well, that's the purple thingy. It's like, well, that doesn't tell me anything about what it is. Calling something a block wall doesn't explain to you what it is, why it is, how it is. If you could chop this magnet up a thousand times, and this is an irrefutable fact, and each little section has a quote-unquote North Pole and South Pole, which doesn't really exist, and a plane of inertia, that means that they are not located there. If they're not located there, then what the hell are we talking about? We are talking about pressure mediation. Mother Nature does not work with math. Math is a human contrivance. Mother Nature doesn't know jack shit about math. Pressure mediation, force, motion, inertia, and acceleration, capacitance, resistance, permeability, permittivity. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Now, uh, Faraday said very famously, and it's amazing, one of the first people to truly investigate magnetism, Faraday said that magnetism is the dielectric field. Do you want to know what the most simple denotation of what magnetism is? I'll tell you. Magnetism is illumination. As the ether, or inertia, is to light. Light and illumination, ether, inertia, is to magnetism. Light is the ether, is the inertia, is the unmanifest. Nihil ex nihilo, from naught comes naught. But by naught, we don't mean, you know, the spot in our belly button or the holes in our ears or the supposed reification of nothing, i.e. a shadow. We can't reify an absence. Okay, I'm in the shadow of this tree. We can't reify a privation. Well, a shadow is something. If you stand in the shadow, you get cold as opposed to the sun. Therefore, shadow is something that does something. No, this is where all of general relativity and quantum mechanics fails. You cannot reify something that has no properties. Tesla said over and over and over again, general relativity and quantum mechanics is a mass of error, quote unquote. Space has no properties, quote unquote. Nikola Tesla. The greats of electrical engineering, Faraday, Steinmetz, Oliver Heaviside, Eric P. Dollard, Nikola Tesla, James Clerk Maxwell, they knew better. They were not involved nor members of the cult of atomism. Light and illumination are one thing, principle and attribute. We have only distinguished the two between principle, what something is, light, and what something does, illumination. Magnetism is the attribute of the ether of inertia. Mother Nature doesn't draw a line this way. She draws a line like this. This, this. She doesn't do it this way. Point, line, point, line. No, it doesn't work that way. A magnet does not have poles. It has the inverse of counter space, the inverse of inertia, the inverse of ether. This is why, if you don't understand this, then you're never going to understand any of the fundamental principles of cosmic mechanics. It is not located there. If I slice it a million times, and each little slice has its own quote-unquote North Pole and South Pole and its own plane of inertia, that means there is nothing located here in this bottom magnet. It is forced there. Actually, it would be grammatically incorrect, but the true way of saying it is it is forced and inertia there. That's, of course, 
incorrect uh, parlance in English, but that's really the most accurate. It is forced and inertiaed there. Just like saying water flows downhill. You pull the, tr the plug on your bathtub, the water goes downhill. Pressure mediation. There is no North Pole located here. There is no South Pole located there. There is no plane of inertia there. It is forced there. It is placed there via inertia, by its own pressure mediation. If I take this huge monster magnet and I'm able to slice it like a hunk of salami, super, super thin, thousands and thousands and thousands of times, each little slice will have its own quote-unquote North Pole and South Pole. But it doesn't have a North Pole and a South Pole. There is not a North Pole located here and a South Pole located there. This is inertia. This is simplex. This is what quantum mechanics and general relativity has never, ever, ever described or explained to you or to anybody. Polarity has no location. The plane of inertia has no location. It is a pressure mediation. Polarity is accurately defined by true, genuine cosmic mechanics and something the ancient Greeks understood and the ancient Indians. The inverse of counter space. The plane of inertia is inertia. We talk about light and illumination. We need to talk about inertia and ether, i.e. light, analogously, versus illumination, the flow, the rhea, in the ancient Greek, which where we get the word gonorrhea and diarrhea and things that flow <laughs> you know, humorously. Humans have intellectually de-evolved. While we're technologically and intellectually more intelligent, that is only existentially so. We are noetically and wisdom bound far, far inferior to the ancient Greeks and the Indians. We have de-evolved into a cult of atomism. We have reified nothing as something, i.e. space and shadows. A shadow is not a thing. It has no properties. A shadow is a privation of the light. We cannot reify something that has no principal existence. It is a posterior attribute. A magnet does not have a North Pole and a South Pole. It has the inverse of counter space. The inverse of counter space is magnetism. That magnetism is the loss of inertia. Get it. If you like this video, I would appreciate the donation. I live very poorly. So if you want to drop me a pizza or a buck or two, that would be very, very much appreciated. But I just want to help. Okay? Thanks for watching.